start with the ingredients. I have oil. I have butter as well since I love the flavor of it. I have finely chopped garlic. Chilies, two which are uh, cut in a slant. I have green onions, red onions, two. I have sausages and I have salamis. Uh, these are chicken uh, sausages and salamis. You can also opt for pork. I didn't have a choice, so I had to make do with what I have. I have eggs, I need two. Salt to taste, and definitely the, it's the Hakka noodles without which the food would not be prepared. First, we I have put uh, water in a kadhai and I am going to make it hot. While doing so, I am going to also add a little bit of salt so that the noodles are not bland. And I am going to pour a little bit of oil. This is because I do not want the noodles to stick to each other. Now I have taken another pan in which I am going to be pouring about say two, two tablespoon, two teaspoons of oil, not tablespoons, sorry, and a dollop of butter. So while that's getting done, and I know that my butter is almost ready for me, I'm going to put in the chopped garlic, ginger, and the uh, green chilies. The reason for me to put the chilies along is to ensure that the oil and the butter get the flavor of the garlic and a little bit of spice from the chilies. I'm not wanting to burn them. So I don't overcook them and then I put in my green onions on one side and my red onions on the other. So I saute them a little. I don't forget to put salt. That's the most important ingredient. Now I have the habit of putting salt while I'm cooking my onions so that they cook faster. They get soft faster and translucent. Well, now you can see that's the water boiling. So let's put in the noodles as promised. I'm using two packets as I have a family of four to feed and children normally do end up eating a lot more than you can think. I'm going to just ensure that it is immersed inside the water. And you can already see that because the water was boiling, it's already started to loosen up and get soft. Well, we'll allow that to cook. As you can see, the noodles, uh, sorry, the onions have become translucent. So now, <clears throat> I'm going to add the eggs, the two eggs. One, and the second one. And I'm just going to mix it together. So all these vegetables get coated with the egg. I'm not going to dry it, dry it up completely though. Just enough that it gets cooked. Alright, the egg seems to have blended pretty well with the onions and the green onions. So let me put in my sausages and salamis. They need to cook as well. Well, it seems like the noodles are almost done. 
and to know whether they are done you have to just take a once little a string of noodles and try to see if you're able to cut it perfectly well as you can see the salamis and the sausages are pretty well cooked now and i'm going to add my soy sauce this ingredient i missed out earlier while at the start of the video well other than just the soy sauce i also do prefer to add a little bit of the red wine vinegar to give it a little bit of the tanginess and flavor not too much and now finally we are going to add our noodles if you can see these noodles are so lovely they are all single they're not bunched up together for the reason being that we had put oil in it while cooking so i'm going to add it up and then we're going to just toss it around and now i'm going to serve myself now luckily i have a set of prongs so i use those and i'm just lifting it Thank you.